G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Um, here we are in um, Sabion Linux and um, it's been a long time since I've used a Gentoo based distro, if I can remember at all, if I've used one. Probably in the past, many, many years ago, before I even knew the difference in a base of Linux. So um, I'm going to install Sabion. This is our challenge for the week and uh, we'll see how this goes. So um, let's get started on that. So along the, uh, in the middle here, or just above the center here and in the welcome screen is a big install button, or you can press the uh, super key and type install, you'll come across install system, or if not that, you can have a look through here and in the favorites here, I'd have to think it is, is install system. So I'm gonna use the big green button there. So American English is probably about the only one there. So we'll go with that. Um, Australia, Perth, English, Australia, now uh, I'm going to uh, use the whole disk. So I'm just going to erase disk. And uh, I've installed this once, so I just thought I'd see how it goes. Uh, see what issues I may have, but everything seemed to have gone all right and I want to share that with everybody. So let's um, just erase disk, we'll use the whole disk. Uh, master boot record, SDA, it did, it doesn't doesn't boot up in UEFI, only legacy. Now, I've checked the MD5 sum, everything seems to be okay with that. So um, that's just the way it is. Maybe that's just the way Gen 2 works. Okay, so let's go and install. Okay, so that is the install complete. Uh, didn't take too long at all. Uh, so what we will do now is we'll restart the system and I'll probably do the very first update um, before recording, So because I'm, I may have to do that to install Simple Screen Recorder. And then we'll run through um, the steps to take to get the uh, des Sabion desktop uh, to a to a position where it's uh, ready to rock and roll. So I'll see you in the freshly installed desktop. Okay, so here we are in the freshly installed desktop of Sabion Linux. So um, what we do here is um, the welcome screen comes up by default and we click on the first steps wiki from the welcome screen and that shall take us to a to a website that tells us what to do fresh install what to do so we are going to run through that first thing we do is update uh, now I've already done that and I've installed a simple screen recorder but we'll, we shall run the update again anyway just in case it's needed um, and yes the other thing we need to do and it does say here do not use sudo, sudo, do not use sudo. 
um, you need to SU just like Debian except we don't have this space dash and then we put in our password and then we do it that way so now what we do is we can run our update and what we do is we um, now it says here if you if you run into problems with that then try this one here so that's the second time I've done that haven't run into any problems so that's so next as mentioned in the section above it is a it is a good idea to optimize the sorting of mirrors so all package upgrades will be downloaded as quickly as possible so that's do that go for the fast mirrors all right so that's our mirrors sorted so hopefully we've got the fastest ones up the top there into node yes i think that was the um fastest one now uh, once you have that completed it, it is vital to get entropy i don't know if it's entropy 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 i'm not really sure how you pronounce that i'll call it entropy once you have that upgraded to the latest version before doing it is vital to get entropy upgraded to the latest version before doing a full system upgrade upgrade will bring your system to current development so let's do that and we run this command here as well and the answer is all fine baby and nothing to do <laughs> so now once the entropy code is upgraded to the latest version fully upgrade the rest of your system with these two commands so let's do that and it will ask you some questions no, no doubt um, would you like to continue the, with that yes I would and it, um, let's see uh, select one to read the license two to accept the license of reddit three accept the license and don't ask any more of reddit let's go for three three okay okay and it even gets a message there Savion is up to date um, so that's an update seven so time of process depends on how many packages bandwidth and hardware after it is done make sure to run update again like so all fine baby and nothing to do so you will want to make your selection but you really should get to know your config files as they will change your system um, yeah I'm not sure about that so more than likely most will select five I always look over the config files as I don't want some of my configs getting overwritten okay so I'll have no problem with that at this point so the final step is to run the following commands checking for missing dependencies and stability so let's do that okay so that's complete now that seems to do a very thorough job of um, 
going through the file system, making sure everything's clean and in order. So that was uh, very good. Now, after these two commands have finished, reboot and enjoy your freshly installed, fully updated Sevion. So we are complete as far as setup is concerned. Install and setup and I've actually found this wiki page very helpful, quite easy to use and uh, nothing has, there's been no issues, nothing's gone wrong so that's um, got me up to date. The only, only thing I'm not sure of is what EQUO stands for. It's got to stand for something I would say but um, somebody might know, I might do a search for it. But um, that's uh, Savion up to date so we'll Actually, um, we shall start restart the system and come back into the freshly updated desktop. So we are back in the freshly installed, updated and upgraded Sebion desktop and um, all seems to be pretty good. So um, if we have a look here, we've got the um, controls up in the uh, top corner there. Uh, activities overview hot corner that's what it is we have the activities overview hot corner um, we have a menu so um, once I've clicked that menu if I hit the super key it's not really doesn't do anything I have to unclick that menu pretty much um, and we also got the super key activities overview there as well so and then we can just have a quick look at what's installed we'll just run through all that I would really like, like to see uh, the GNOME desktop fix up the uh, the names of the applications because normally in a lot of GNOME desktops you don't have this menu so we can run through the menu and see the names better so it's got some pretty good apps in here uh, when I say good apps I mean good apps to get you started probably a lot of things I would use uh, probably not TV or PTV I'm not sure how you pronounce that one but um, Katie and live definitely for me nothing to scroll on under system tools it comes with a tweak tool by default um, we got this Rego application and browser, so I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work. So there are some notices there, so let me see the notices, okay. Um, close the notices. So we've got an application browser, so let's have a look. Show available kernels. Uh, so application groups show available long-term stable kernels show available kernels show installed applications update repositories optimize download speed clean entropy web service session manage repositories and show configuration file updates so um, that all looks pretty um, pretty handy I'd have to sort of have a play around with that and see how it all works. So it looks like there's some very useful tools there. And then you've got a, a button for activities overview there as well in the menu. So um, that is Savvy on Linux. I'm going to uh, continue to um, use Sabion, see how I go with that. Uh, I'm going to install some programs. Um, the Probably the interesting one would probably be Zoom. I'm not sure if it's available in Gen 2. Um, and if not, I'd have to see if flat packs are installable or snaps are installable in um, 
in Gen 2, maybe I can use a um, maybe I can use an app image. So I'm going to have to check all that out and see how we go. And maybe I'll be back with uh, a video on installing applications in Sabion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thank you for watching.